Yo, what it do, y'all? This your boy King Air the Great coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button for me. And today marks the anniversary of Game's debut album titled The Documentary. And I'm going to give it a breakdown on a look back at that album. When I first heard of Game, I remember hearing the a nothing but a G thing freestyle off of K Slade tape. He was hosting one of K Slade's tapes. And I liked his flow. I like how he was young, he was brash, he had the chip on his shoulder, he was he was cocky. It was the type of energy the West Coast needed at the time. And what made me realize that Game was true to the craft was the fact that he introduced Easy E into another generation. Because that was big deal because see Everybody kept talking about Pac and Biggie, Pac and Biggie. Nobody really mentioned Easy. It wasn't until Game came through with the tattoo, he put Easy E's name back into the mainstream. That's where things started to change. And you start seeing Easy's name being introduced in another era. Then you had Jim Jones come out there with the certified gangster sampler boys in the hood. Then Easy's son came through, Lil Easy. So it introdu game introduced um Easy's name into a new era. But what sold me as a game fan at the time was 200 bars and running. Where he went straight 200 bars, no hooks, just straight ripping the deep cover beat for 16 minutes, I believe. But. When he was putting this guy together, the documentary, he had all the right chefs. Dre, had it from Mob D, Kanye West, Timberland, Eminem. You can't help but 50 Cent helping. You can't help but to fail, not to fail with that. Only thing I didn't like, though, was that they didn't give JT the bigger figure of his props. Because he's the one that really introduced game into hip, into the um, rap game in a way. But... Going back to that album, it was pretty dope. Now, you got to keep in mind that you had records like West Side Story, um, Hate It or Love It, How We Do, Running It Special. I can guarantee you that those records were for 50 Cent's Massacre album. Because, see, Game, while he was a sharp spitter, he, wasn't, he didn't know how to write songs. He didn't know how to write hooks. So that's where 50 came in and put him under his wing. Even though Dre signed him and just left him there, 50 put him on, put him on the team, put him on some mixtapes, and a star was born. But you listen to those records like Running, spe especially Special. That sounds like something that 50 Cent would put out. Even though he put Nate Dogg on the hook, that sounds like a 50 Cent track to me. That and Running with Tony Yale. But... What I liked about the documentary was it still felt like a West Coast album. Even though you had East Coast producers on there, it felt like a West Coast album. When you had songs like Put It On The Game, No More Fun, Where I'm From, I mean, it still contained that West Coast element that a lot of people miss. And even though those beats, some of those beats from Dre, I bet they were either for Detox as well, Basically, a lot of this album was crafted from Detox and The Master. And even though Game's bars were basically basic, he didn't really get better with his vocabulary and within his his, his wordplay until later on. This was, a, this was a good start. When you listen to songs like Dreams, listen to the song... From Start From Scratch, which was one of my favorite songs. That was one of the deep songs he had, Father and Son. Only song I didn't really like was the Eminem track. Like, they didn't really, Game and M didn't really have good chemistry there. It felt like they were just there to please the label. But, Documentary was a fire album, man. And it sold five million off the top. It made Game a star. And he would go on to be for 50, and you know, we all know how that turned out. But the documentary was a solid, dope album, man. It really was. It had the right ingredients. It had 
Dr. Dre introducing a new protege into a new era. And it came out at the right time where the West Coast needed a young gun. I mean, we had Snoop out there. We had Cube out there. The West Coast needed a young gun to take, to take it to another era. And that's where game came to. So, the documentary was a dope album. Be sure to check that out, man. I mean, it was a... Check that out. And also check out documentary two as well, man. It was a great sequel. And regardless of his anthem, game is one when he's motivated, he's one of the best rappers out there. So let me know what you guys think, man. Subscribe, hit the like button. Peace.